This is a page you shouldn't miss. Hello, my friends, and how are you doing? Today, I'm going to show you a page that has really cool features, including Flux and a huge variety of LoRa's for that. And yes, this is a paid video, but this is my honest opinion. They just gave me a little dough for the bro to keep the lights on. Let's get started. So first, let's start here with a little slideshow of the amazing quality that you can get from this page. And I would say this is basically on the level of mid journey look at these amazing details the crispness of these images and one of the cool things they have is that they have an ai prompt refiner so you don't have to go to a chat ai to get better prompts look at these amazing details let's zoom in here a little bit more that is just stunning like that is like on the level of mid journey i would say so they have some really really cool things different styles you can do they have loras not just for flux but also for sdxl they have the chugganaut xl model this by the way looks very much like a character from diablo 4 so pretty cool also to see that you can also do product photos you can use these images commercially interestingly enough as i was told also with the flux version which i think is a pretty unique feature and and overall, the quality is just superb. I really like what you can create here and without using your own resources. That's probably the most important part because Flux is out of reach for a lot of people with slower hardware. Oh, it's really slow to use it. Of course, it's a paid service, but that's kind of to be expected because they also have to pay for their GPU bills. So next, let's have a look at their website. Now, one of the core elements here is the gallery where you can scroll through to see all of these amazing creations, but they also have very nice advanced search functions. For example, here you can upload 3D models. So when you click on this icon here, you can then see all of the images that have been created using 3D models. And the cool thing is you can also use these 3D models. Actually, as a matter of fact, when you click on any of these images, you will get all of the settings, all of the prompt, all of the LoRa's that have been used here, they call the LoRa's filters. So for example, here on the left side, you can see the different filters that have been used to create that image with the specific settings for each of these filters. Now below, you can see this long prompt that probably has been created by their CG dream function that creates an advanced prompt based on your prompt input. And then if you mouse over on the right side, you can see also the other settings. For example, this is using the flux model. It is using the auto enhanced short prompts and a random seed, no negative prompt because of course flux doesn't have have a negative prompt but if it would be a chugganaut image you would also see that so when you go back here to the gallery for each of these images you get all of that information and i would highly suggest when you start out on that website you click off some of these images and then maybe re-render them or change the prompt or the settings a little bit or play around here with these different filters to see what results you get and by that you get really stunning quality now another point you will see here on the left side is and this is by the way based on my consulting i'm really happy they implemented that pretty fast that they have here certain inputs you could use for example the style input now this does not work with flux yet this is using ip adapter but it works with the chugganaut xl model and works pretty nicely you also have here structure which uses control net now they have a fixed method at the moment you can't choose from this different methods, but they want to integrate that too. You can do image to image render, which is really helpful. And then you can also use 3D models to use as a base. And that is also very helpful. Now, when we talk about the 3D models, they actually have a library of 3D models included that you can choose from. For example, here we have this kind of Porsche car. So I can click on that. And as you can see, this is loading right away. I don't have to upload anything. Over here, we have the ratio. I can change that, for example, here to 16 to 9. And then 
I can just rotate that 3D model and use it as an input to create different perspectives of that car. And of course, if you remember correctly, I said you have your style input or image to image input so that when you have created one image that you like, you can actually use that style to create multiple more images of different perspectives of that car daylight situations, scenarios, whatever you want. So here, for example, you can see an image that I rendered with a different 3D model of a sports car. And you can see here, I use two filters for luxury car and for sports car to create a beautiful sports car standing on a beach and this is photorealistic it looks really good and of course like i said you can change the perspective if you want to with the 3d model now if you don't like the selection they have on their own cg dream website you can actually also use the cg Drader website that they have and here as you can see you have different kinds of models for example here for interior you have full collections everything now a lot of them are for pay so if you don't want to buy them there's a free button up here you can click on that and then see the free selection you can get now here is something that is important to remember and this is the format because you can only use here for the formats the fbx format and also the glb format to import it on the cg dream side so you want to select this and you want to select that so both of them are here with the free and then you can select from all of the models you can see here so once you've found a model that you like let's say we take this model here you can click on that and it's going to give you a preview here. Here's the free download button. You will see a short 20 second ad here. And then you can already download the file. Here we have the FBX format we want to download. And once that is done, I would suggest here on the right side, you select the ratio you want to have, let's say 16 by nine. And then on the left side, you go here to 3D model and to browse so that you can upload the FBX file to the website. Once the file has loaded for you on the top right, you have multiple functions, for example, color render, which sometimes doesn't display it correctly, but you also have to tune render and this will work to show you the structure of the elements. Now here you can move this around with your mouse. Now again, on the top right, you have here the orbit function or you have the walk function. The walk function works kind of like a video game. You can use your mouse wheel to zoom in and out and you can use your right mouse button to push it up and down left and right so you have a lot of options to create a scene here now on the lower left side you have the filters button when you click on that this is going to load the filters with a search function here so for example let's search for interior and you can see here you do have an interior LoRa or a filter as they call that now there's a search button here don't click on that right now because this is going to show you all the images that use this filter instead you want to click on that in the image section let's also click here on living room now as a prompt i put modern living room with gold and granite and then on the top right i can select here up to four images i select flux as the model and then down here i can either generate it right away or I can use the dream function. So let's try both of those. And here we already have the results based on the 3D model. And I have to say they're pretty stunning. It's kind of what I had in mind with that. Now this is based on the original prompt that I have been writing. And this is then closer to the 3D model. Now here we have a second version. This has a marble sofa. I'm not sure this is 100% cozy, although visiting the original antique sites in Greece I have to say sitting on stone is not the worst thing. And this is an image that uses one of these magic CG dream prompts. As you can see down here, it's a way longer prompt, way more detail in there. But because of that, also the image has a lot more interesting details in there. It's a little bit more removed from the 3D model input, but still really amazing. So just from that, you can see that that has a lot of different applications. Here, for example, we have another image that I've based on a 3D model of two women standing at the beach. And this is also a 3D model from their CG Trader site. 
Now, if you want to have more models to download for free, I can also highly suggest Sketchfab, where you also have a 3D preview and often these kind of like photogrammetry live scanned models. So there is a lot of potential to play around with 3D models on the CG Dreams website. But even if you don't want to play around with 3D models, another thing you can do, of course, is image to image render. For example, I downloaded this beautiful photo here and turned it into this super cute image of a poodle posing with the black hat and the black jacket. It's really nice. And of course, I can't leave it there. I also have to turn this into a cute ducks hound sitting with the hat and the jacket. Of course, there's a lot more cool things you can do, especially with the flux model like for example this beautiful golden retriever playing with a ball and look at this cute poodle lady here with the flowers in the hair also very nice and of course with the style transfer you can do also amazing things for example here I downloaded this beautiful image and took it as a style inspiration for this fashion photography. You can see it's pretty similar from the neon light, from the background, from the pose. So all of that is pretty amazing. And it's done with the Chugganaut XL model. If all of that isn't enough for you, they also have challenges. This one that is going on right now is for another 31 days. And as you can see here, there is also money prizes included. First prize gets 300 dollars so that is pretty amazing and the cool thing is that you can also see the other entries and learn from them last but not least let's have a look at their pricing model now they have a credit system the rendering for the chugganaut xl model is pretty cheap i think around five credits per image and when it comes to the flux model I think it's around 20 to 30 credits per image, but for the free account, you get 3000 monthly credits. That's already pretty cool. And for 10 bucks, you get 10,000 monthly credits that you can play around with. So at least I would give the free account a shot to see what you can do with that, especially with the 3D model upload. And don't forget, you can, of course, also upload your own 3D models to play with that and turn your fantasies into beautiful AI renders. So overall, I'm really impressed by that site. I'm happy I can consult them to help them improve the site even better. And if there are features you want to see, please leave them in the comments so I can forward it to them. I hope this site interests you. Thank you very much for watching and see you soon. Bye.